All right, hey everybody. So this is the promised update on the uh, trim tab. I uh, finally got it kind of where I want it on uh, Saturday. But uh, it was a little bit dark when I got back, so this is me kind of doing the update while it's light out. So this is what I ended up with. Saturday I ended up rebuilding it twice and making some changes. So you remember I had this before. Uh, basically it did nothing. It wasn't, wasn't nearly big enough. So I said, well, I'm going to have to upgrade the size of it a little bit. So I didn't have any more aluminum that was bigger, but I did have, we had some old windshields laying around here at the airport off of Matt's plane. So I was able to take a piece of this Lex in, um, put it on the other way I had it. If you remember before the plan was to have the cable coming from the actuator down the top of the elevator and to pull it up and the spring underneath which is what pulled it down the problem was once i put the bigger surface on which is just for people's curiosity 18 by 6 uh it was overpowering the spring so i was like okay well now i know it's at least an effective size and how do i do this and i didn't want to really put a too powerful spring on and risk you know ripping rivets out and stuff like that so i ended up um, swapping this around completely rebuilt it put the spring on the top instead of the bottom ran my cable down through there and across the underside and attach it the only little mistake i made was putting this this close this is this is as far down as it'll go because of that and so I have it adjusted so that when the actuator is fully closed and pulled, it, it hits, it just stops just shy so that it doesn't, oops, sorry, so it doesn't dent my, my elevator. So this, as it turned out, um, is exactly the right trim for me in the front. I also put a little bit of reflex into my flap runs. I took up the extra little bit of slack that was here. Uh, I think it ended up being two and a half turns, um, but it's gonna be different for everybody's plane. So I ended up doing a little bit of, putting a little bit of reflex, which brought my stall speed up slightly, but not that much. Uh, and not that big of a deal now that I actually have electric flaps. And so now that I have those electric flaps working, I'm really able to, to drop my stall speed down. I think I'm down around 35 to 37 mile an hour in my stalls so uh, i'm pretty happy with that i'm going to um i may at some point either build a slightly larger trim tab or a, you know make some adjustments so i can close a little more probably just build a slightly bigger trim tab but for now i'm just going to fly it and play with it um the only other thing I might do is put uh, a strong, maybe I, I may put a stronger spring on it um, or shorter spring just so that if I ever need up trim, but honestly, if I ever have to do that, sorry, I say up trim, I mean down trim, but if I ever have to do that for someone who's really light in the front can always use uh, a little, put it a little, just a little bit of flaps and with, the electric flap system I basically has have an infinite, you know, adjustment on the flaps. Um, so the other thing I've got is this here. I 3D printed this cowling. Um, you see, it's hollow, and so it's gonna fit down over that uh, just to pretty it up, make it look good, protect that uh, actuator, and I've got. It's all curved everywhere, nice curved surfaces, so I don't think it'll create any drag or any any issues. Just gotta figure out a good way to stick it on there, I guess. Um, yeah, but I think that's gonna be, gonna be pretty good. Make it look nice and clean. And yeah, I guess, I guess that's all. So uh, any questions about that, throw them in the comments or send me a, private message or whatever.
basically end of the day we've got the, the actuator this piece of cable and this is just bicycle cable um, bicycle sleeve I've got my wire running here running all the way up the tube to my switch momentary contact switch this this bracket here came with the, the actuator and just a piano hinge some rivets a spring pretty straightforward uh, that actuator has a two inch stroke two and three quarter inch stroke I think that's what it ended up being and you can see that it just ran up and I have my two switches right there flaps up flaps down nose up nose down and uh, yeah works great so the next project will be the vortex generators and uh, we'll see how far down I can get my stall speed with that ace of vortex generators so that'll be the next project you'll probably see uh, on the channel anyway hope that's helpful for people who are asking bye